if you could give us some area where you are, what you were maybe thinking of specific area where women are helping back off the conflict, and what organization helped give them that power to begin to make that difference? Thank you for that question. I think I, I have learned to believe very intensely uh, this aspect of uh, uh, the involvement of women. Um, I initiated when I was the president of the Security Council in the year 2000, 8th of March on International Women's Day, which is next week, um, a, a, the beginning of a resolution by, which goes by the number 1325, which emphasizes the role of women in peace and security. We have seen time and again that in the, the involvement of women in peace negotiations, giving them a play, place in the peace table immediately brings a qualitative change in the negotiations. Because when women are involved in the negotiations, they think of the broader interest of the society, the longer term needs of the society, how the society will treat their children and grandchildren. Men think basically out uh, think for power sharing. What will be my position in the next government? How can I secure a place for myself in the next cabinet? That is what motivates men. Women are motivated by the longer term needs of the society. And this is what I have found time and again, personally in Sierra Leone, in Afghanistan, um, in, uh, uh, in Mozambique, all these places, societies have made great post-conflict progress because women are involved. So place in the peace table is the number one need. President Mandela came to talk to us in the Security Council. He said, I, I reached a roadblock when I was negotiating for peace in Burundi. But they say women organizations would come to me in the very late at night because they were not given any place in the peace table. So they would come and give me suggestions, meaning President Mandela. And he said, I tried those, and those really worked very well. So at one point, I brought them over formally to sit with me in the peace table. And that moved things wonderfully. So this is important. The second uh, point, which is very important, is to involve women and their organizations in the post-conflict peace building. That is where I saw women in Sierra Leone working wonderfully to integrate or reintegrate the child soldiers in their societies. You know, they have gone through tremendous trauma by being child soldiers. But then when the, the conflict ends, there's nobody to look after them. And they are shunned by society because they had handled weapons. Yes, they had handled weapons, but under what circumstances? So they need to be integrated. And women, uh, women's organizations in Sierra Leone did wonderfully well. Same way, they are ensuring that the society which is being created in a post-conflict context need the involvement of women in a big way. So these are the two dimensions that I believe is very important. In addition to the traditional role of women, which they have done, they have, women's organizations have ensured that there is a percentage of seats in the parliament which are reserved for women. women. They have done it in Timor-Leste, they da have done it in Senegal, they have done it in Mozambique. And fortunately, the, uh, in Liberia, the women came uh, in a delegation to complain to me in New York that uh, the United Nations team there uh, sort of ignored their uh, request to reserve 30% of the seats for women. I believe the parliament will be much better off if they are involved there. And I will end by saying, I 
emphasize the need for good governance at the community level. Central level, of course, transparency, accountability are important, but those are more important at the community level because that is where the development problems, uh, development projects of developing countries are undertaken. It is at the community they decide about irrigation canal, about the crop protection, about the pesticides, about the bridges, about the roads, everything is decided at the community level. Development assistance is spent at the community level. But there are a lot of wastage, abuse, and corruption at that level. In my country, Bangladesh, at the local level administration, there are 64,000 officers who are elected at the community level. They handle the, uh, the uh, local uh, administrative job and the development projects. Out of 64,000 in, in an election in 1996, 14,000 were women. And many of them were elected to head the local council. What happened? The things moved well. Corruption were eliminated. They had absolutely good results, very good results, because they saw to it. They were not sort of uh, motivated by uh, 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 sort of taking money on the side or ignoring the, the projects. They knew that if I build a schoolhouse, my children, grandchildren will be going there. So that is what motivated them. And absolute, I, that is why I emphasize that good governance is important also at the community level with bigger participation of women. So that is another dimension of women's involvement which is needed.